If you enjoy this video, be sure to like and comment below and subscribe to our channel for more awesome collector videos. You'll actually hit the button here and it plays the Star Wars thing. So without further ado, this is it right here. It's quite large. Um, I'll turn this around here because this is, this thing weighs about, it's about four feet wide, weighs about 20 to 30 pounds. Hi all, my name is uh, Sean Byrne. I'm here to talk about one of the items I received back from Collector Archive Services, the CAS. Um, this is a really cool piece. Uh, really um, enjoyed having this piece cased uh, by CAS. Um, it received a really high grade and uh, there's a neat story behind it. Uh, in 1997, uh, Kenner uh, was commissioned or had commissioned for Toys R Us uh, a very large displays for the Concept 2000 stores. And basically what this was, was an aquarium style, which is similar to what they were making at the time uh, for their little aquarium for kids that they could go ahead and make different scenes. They're basically, a, a, it was about static scenes is what it was about. And they only made them for these particular stores and the concept 2000 was toys r us's code word for their revamped or their remodeled stores where it had the big yellow windows with the glass and they were able to see inside and the kids could see inside with all the different toys and that was basically the idea of the concept 2000 stores by 97 uh, i'd read in some articles they'd only had maybe about 26 of these stores completed um, and I do believe that they ended it shortly thereafter. So it is likely that a lot of these displays um, never saw the light of day or they were destroyed or whatever the case may be. Needless to say, there are very few of them that exist out there. Um, and very few of them that even exist that are complete. Um, in fact, um, the one I had, I had actually two displays. They had come from the same store in Olathe, Kansas. And there was a Concept 2000 store there um, however, I sold the best one back in 2007, which was a re regrettable. Um, and then I acquired uh, the other one um, back from a friend of mine that I had sold it to. That was the one that was in lesser condition. Uh, it was missing virtually all the parts. It was essentially the one that had been displayed. The other one didn't have all the parts either, but it had the most of them. Uh, it, fast forward now, I had, I had it back in my possession maybe about three or four years. Um, and was gonna get around to refurbishing it. Well, uh, problem was is I was missing most of the parts, and so how would I get the parts? Um, that was the big question. Well, uh, fast forward to November of this, of 2019, um, a friend of mine, Sean Lemkul, had a collection that he acquired that um, included one of these sets that were just the contents of the display, not the display itself, which I already had. And so I received, I purchased it from him, I told him what it was, um, and I purchased it from him, and um, I just, all the contents that were supposed to come with the display were included. So I have a probably, what is unknown, but I think probably the most likely case of it being fully complete. So I don't think there is another one out there that's as complete as this one is. So in ordinary, these, these parts were all brand new. They were still sealed in the box. Um, I wanted to display them. Um, and so I got all the contents, including the action figures, the ships, um, the Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing are modified slightly by Kenner. Um, uh, TIE Fighter is production, uh, standard production. That was the only item that was sealed in there. <laughs> With the except the X-wing and the type or the X-wing and the Millennium Falcon were opened in ordinary for their modifications to occur. Um, the action figures all came in Kenner bags, sealed in Kenner bags, and so you know I wanted to, these are all pieces that were essentially unique to this particular item. So um, the ships were displayed inside the aquarium, um, and I wanted I had all the other leftover pieces. I didn't want to open the action figures because the action figures are pretty tough to actually find in Kenner bags, a lot of these. So they were kind of a rarity to sit there and find. So I wanted to preserve the Power of the Force 2 figures 
Um, and I wanted, the ships were already open, so I went ahead and opened those and, and used those for the display because those needed, those were modified for that display, so I needed it for them. But the action figures and all the other components, including where this was originally supposed to go, which was in Lake Utah. Um, so uh, I had this all cased up, uh, including the original instructions. I don't think those exist all anyplace else. Um, the original instructions, uh, the, all the Canterbury figures, uh, the, um, the figure stands that came with it, which were unique to this set, um, and just um, just everything that uh, kind of was extraneous that I didn't want to lose, and I put it all in a case. So without further ado, this is it right here. It's quite large. Um, I'll turn this around here because this is this thing weighs about about four feet wide and weighs about 20 to 30 pounds so this is it right here um, you can see all the action figures here uh, this is the original instructions this is a placard that came with it uh, this is the original address label that came with the uh, set and this is the envelope the instructions came in and you can see right here is the uh, action figure display stands so essentially that's it there is actually one additional piece that I discovered uh, that wasn't included, unfortunately, in here, but I still have it, obviously, that did actually go with the set. I thought it was extraneous, but it, it actually isn't. So, anyway, uh, this is it right here. It did great, great AS90. Um, and it is just a really, really cool piece. Um, really, really enjoy this piece. And I can show you what the display looks like. I'll put that aside there. And I can see, show you right here what this looks like. So this is it right here. This is the actual display. Um, this is the Millennium Falcon and the TIE Fighter and the X-Wing that the unit came with. Um, and the kind of the Kenner placard and also comes with the, the other Star Wars placard. And actually, if you pull this aside, that placard aside, You'll actually hit the button here, and it plays the Star Wars thing. So it's lit up by a uh, uh, fluorescent light. There's a speaker right there for the Star Wars theme, and it has it looks very much like the Death Star uh, hangar scene. So very very cool piece. Um, I went ahead and used vintage collection figures for the display. I just like those figures better, but you know, it's really cool. This is also an acrylic uh, face, uh, face on it, so no dust gets on it. It does have rubber bumpers and a wood hard top, as well as a laminated bottom as well. So it's a really, really cool piece. So that's about it um, for this particular item. I really appreciate uh, you taking a look and um, please let me know what you think. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.